Take a look at this graph, and, and um, I, I can't explain it. So uh, x-axis here, percentage of plays outside the po pocket. Y-axis, EPA outside the pocket. Joe Flacco's up at the top, <laughs> and Deshaun Watson's kind of in the middle, but I, it's amazing what he's been able to do outside of the pocket. Um, I, Explain that one, because I got nothing. Yeah. Well, so that looks like a smaller percentage of plays, right? Watson's right. out of the play, out of the pocket, pocket more, right. but didn't have the same success rate that Joe does in limited opportunity. Um, first of all, and we probably talked about it, Dave. The the way Blacko moves is has been a pleasant surprise to me. And I mean, I saw him play last year, but it didn't stand out to me that he moved well. You know, I mean, I was there week two in person. I saw him throw great, but I don't remember going, oh, he moves pretty well. I mean, I watched him play all those years at the Ravens, and it was never a he's going to get outside the pocket and beat you. But he looks pretty fresh. For 38, he's moving pretty well. And when you when you marry that with Kevin Stefanski's play-action scheme, the bootlegs, that gets him out in space and – that's just part of the offensive scheme that the Browns run. But we saw the 75-yard touchdown to Cooper. It's a hard play action, a big roll to the left, and it's Flacco outside the pocket, and he's got Cooper one-on-one, -on -one, and it's that side of the field, and he makes a good throw. So we've just seen a, a plenty of examples of that designed. And then you see the off-schedule things where he keeps the play alive. He slides in the pocket just enough to find Najoku last week and a huge play on the winning drive against Jacksonville. Um, you saw it with that David Bell touchdown um, the week before where he slides and gets makes a throw on fourth down. So the movement skills have been better than I thought, and that's, that graphic just shows you um, how effective he's been.